Hello everyone, today I will show you how to check a drift limit according to ASCE. Going to ASCE section 12.8.6, the design story drift shall be computed as the difference of the deflection at the center of mass at the top and bottom of the story under consideration. See figure 12.8.2, which is this one. As shown here, there is two displacements for this joint delta E2 and delta 2 delta E2 is just the elastic displacement obtained from linear analysis and delta 2 is the amplified displacement multiplied by CD over I computed using this equation the story drift is just the difference of displacement up and down and the story drift ratio is the story drift divided by story height okay as shown in this section period for computing drift it's permitted to determine the elastic drift using seismic design forces based on the computed fundamental period of the structure without the upper limit CUTA as you can remember I have shown you how to compute the seismic forces of ELF now what they are saying in this section that we can use just the fundamental period to compute CDS without using T maximum or CUTA Therefore, you can just follow the same steps and you will obtain the seismic forces to compute the elastic displacement. And actually doing this is very easy in ETAPS because we can go to define load patterns. And I have defined two load patterns with a type of seismic drift. Therefore, in order to allow ETAPs to compute the seismic forces based on the fundamental period, you need just to choose the type as seismic drift, and this is all for ETAPs. Okay. I have summarized all the important information in this Excel sheet, and I have taken this table from ASCE as shown here. We have assumed that the building is in risk category number 3. I will use 1.5% of the story height as the allowable drift. And what we need is just to copy the displacement from ETAPS in order to compute the drift. Okay, let's go to ETAPS. And since the floor plans are not identical, the center of mass changes along with the height of the building. For example, it have a different location at the first 5 story than these stories and it's still varying upward therefore if I go to display story response plot I have two options to select the maximum story displacement which is maybe not at the center of mass it could be any joint and for uh, the other option diaphragm center of mass displacement as I mentioned before the center of mass doesn't have the same location therefore I will not obtain the displacement from this option. I will go to plan story view. I will select all the stories here. And I will use this joint to obtain displacements and drifts. And now from display, show tables. Of course, I want EQX drift and EQY, and this is we don't need it for now. Okay. Export to Excel. And note this is the displacement in millimeter. We need to change it to meter by dividing by 1000. Okay. Now I will select EQY.
as shown here the story drift exceed the allowable drift however the difference is very minor they are so close to each other and I will assume that this is an acceptable result I will ignore it and for y direction it's okay okay now for response spectrum analysis we have defined a load combination let me show you called displacement RSA in the X direction this is the factor CD over R or 5 over 6 therefore the CD is already included in this load combination and going back to this Excel I have copied the displacement to here and this column shows the amplified displacement CD over I multiplied by this displacement and here the story height and this is here the story drift ratio which is the difference of displacement divided by story height and I'm comparing with this one 0.015 the difference here in this load combination that when we are using responses spectrum analysis the results are combined using combination rule we cannot obtain for example the displacement and take the difference as I have did here we should obtain it directly as a drift this is the first thing the second we shouldn't include CD okay let's go to etabs now I will select the same joints and from display now select joint drift and select load combination displacement RSA normally is much preferable to use a static force to check drift limits This is the drift. Oh, this is drift ratio because we don't have units here if it is drift alone the units maybe is millimeter or meter but because no units uh, this is drift ratio okay let me close this one therefore I don't need to even to divide by story height what I did here is I divide this is drift by story height however this is a drift ratio directly Okay. okay as shown here for x and y direction using the response spectral analysis load combination for computing displacement or drifts story drift ratio is smaller than the allowable story drift ratio therefore this is the end of this tutorial and thank you for watching and let's continue the next video